respected chairperson of this session, delegates from various parts of the world, particularly learned cell biologists and professors, doctors, and uh, my beloved brothers and sisters. After hearing the Dr. Satish Jagadish speech today, I would like to call everybody as brothers and sisters. Such a wonderful presentation today. Morning, Dr. Jagadish and Dr. Malla Rao. Both had given a very beautiful lecture. Ellorukum iniya madhya vanakangal. Vaalika vallamuda. Really, rumba rumba nagalchiya hu, magalchiya hu naarra in the arangala. Uh, dear friends from other country, I would like to have bilingual presentation. I talk in a little bit in English as well as I am feel, feeling comfortable to deliver a few points in Tamil for other people. So my presentation will be in both uh, languages. Um, really, uh, in the Arangu, Urumba Negilchiyum, Uru Mana Nerevum 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 In the Edathukula Vandha, Edathala Erandhe, and the Vibe, Tony Tinaalu, Tony Tainthila Vandha, Naan Siddhamurthu Kalluri Padithu Muditha Puraam, Chennai Lirikka Kudiyya, Thiruvanmi Urla, Magrishya Urgilai, and the uh, Arangil Sandithu Urayadiyya, Poludhukal Satru, Munnadi Anakku Manadukula, Abiyya Ulithu Kondai Irikkarudhu, Avaradhu Kural Ulithu Kondai Irikkarudhu. Siddhamurthu Anakha Arimuhu Padithu Kondai, Avar Pesam Uludhu, Siddhamurthu Anakha Avar Ennai, அழைத்து எனக்கு கொடுத்த அறிவுரைகள் அந்த மருத்துவத்தை எப்படி எடுத்து செல்ல வேண்டும் அந்த மருத்துவத்தின்பால் இருக்கக்கூடிய பல்வேறு நுட்பங்களை கிடைத்த ஒரு சில மணித்துளிகள்ல அவங்க பேசியது இன்னும் மனசுல அவ்வளவு நிறைவா இருக்கு அந்த பயணம் வந்து கிட்டத்தட்ட முப்பது ஆண்டுகளாக தொடர்ச்சியாக பொதுமக்களிடம் சித்த மருத்துவத்தை சித்த மருத்துவத்தினுடைய உணவியல் கூறுகளை பல்வேறு மக்களிடம் வெகுஜன மக்களிடமும் அறிவார்ந்த சமூகத்திடமும் தொடர்ச்சியாக இதை எடுத்து செல்ல வேண்டும் என்கிற ஒரு நோக்கோடு தொடர்ந்து பயணித்துக் கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் அதுக்கான ஒரு முதல் முனைப்பை எனக்குள் விதைத்த விதைத்த வேதாத்திரி மகிழ்ச்சி ஐயா இந்த இடத்தில் நினைவுகூர்ந்து ஒரு சில மணித்துளிகள் உங்களோடு லாஞ்சிட்டிவிட்டி ஆஃப் லைஃப் பை சித்தாஸ் லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் என்கிற ஒரு சிறு தொகுப்பை உங்களோடு உரையாட விரும்புகிறேன் பிஃபோர் ஸ்டார்டிங் மை லெக்சர் ஐ உட் லைக் டு செல் அபவுட் த recent publication maybe some of the doctors and uh, learned people might have aware about that that publication came in the lancet about uh, india's incidence of non communicable diseases uh, the, the title of the paper is self it's icmr india b7 uh, the incidence of non communicable diseases in india they had taken uh, the statistics from the year of 2009 to 2017 அதில் ரெண்டாயிரத்தி ஒன்பதிலிருந்து ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பதினேழு வரைக்கும் நடந்த ஒரு பெரிய மருத்துவ ஆய்வு சர்க்கரை வியாதி குறித்த சர்க்கரை வியாதியை விட்ட பிற தொற்றா வாழ்வியல் நோய்கள் குறித்த ஒரு ஆய்வு அது பல மருத்துவ அறிஞர்களையும் இந்த மருத்துவம் சார்ந்து பணியாற்றி கொண்டிருக்கிற பல பேரையும் சற்றே உலுக்கிய ஒரு பேப்பர் அப்படின்னு சொல்லலாம் சென்னையில் இருக்கக்கூடிய டாக்டர் ரஞ்சனா டாக்டர் மோகனுடைய டாக்டர் அவங்க பப்ளிஷ் பண்ண ஒரு ஐசிஎம்ஆரோடு சேர்ந்து பப்ளிஷ் பண்ண ஒரு ஆட்சிகள் நமக்கு எல்லாருக்கும் தெரியும் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் எவ்ரிபடி அவேர் த டய இன்சிடென்ஸ் ஆஃப் டயபெட்டிஸ் இஸ் இன்க்ரீசிங் இன் இந்தியா ஆல்மோஸ்ட் லெவன் டு டுவெல் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் ஆர் டயபெட்டிக்ங்கிறது பெரும்பாலும் தெரிஞ்ச விஷயம் பட் எந்த ஆர்டிக்கல் இந்த பர்டிகுலர் லேண்ட்செட் ஆர்டிக்கல் வந்து என்ன சொல்லுதுன்னா நம்மளுடைய என்டையர் மைண்ட் செட்டை கொஞ்சம் லேசாக மாற்றிருக்கு அவங்க என்ன சொல்லியிருக்காங்க அப்படின்னா எஸ் Uh, as suspected nearly 11 to 12 percentage people are known diabetic people and uh, nearly 17 percentage of population are in igt impaired glucose tolerance manga adavadhu pre diabetic nu eduthukalam the pre diabetic la kittatatta 17% irukanga adu indha article mudichathu 2017 varaikku ulla data indha oru 6 varshathila adhu particularly in the post covid era la the balance 6 years la innum andha 17% la more than 60% of people should have become a diabetic again so almost abdi kanak vechu paathona nearly in india right now ethina more than 20% of population should be the diabetic sir idhila enna irukku ellarkum therinja vishayam thana abdin theriyala and article motta data eduthu paathina evlo per how many people are in dyslipidemia how many people are in centralized obesity how many people are in diabetic hypertension 
எவ்ரி எவ்ரி அந்த டேட்டா ஃபுல்லாக பப்ளிஷ் ஆகிருக்கு ஸோ ஓவரால் எடுத்து பார்க்கும்போது இந்த கண்ட்ரி இன்னும் ஒரு பத்து வருஷத்துக்குள்ளே எவ்வளோ பெரிய சேலஞ்சஸ்க்குள்ளே போக போகுது பர்டிகுலர்லி இந்த நான் கம்யூனிகபிள் டிசீஸஸ் சொல்லக்கூடிய டயபெட்டிக் ஹைப்பர்டென்ஷன் இஸ்கிமிக் ஹார்ட் டிசீஸ் கிரானிக் ரெஸ்பிரேட்ரி எயில்மெண்ட்ஸ் எல்லாத்தையும் எடுத்து ஒட்டு மொத்தமாக பார்த்தா ஒரு காலத்தில் இதெல்லாம் இருந்த வியாதிகள் தான் எப்போவுமே இருந்த பிரச்சனை தான் பட் இன்றைக்கி இன்றைக்கி அதுக்கு என்ன ரொம்ப முக்கியத்துவம்னா ப்ரொடக்டிவ் ஏஜ் ஸ்பேன் அதாவது வாழ்க்கையில் குடும்பத்தில் சமூகத்தில் நாட்டில் மாற்றத்தை ஏற்படுத்தக்கூடிய ஏஜ் குரூப் ஒரு இருபத்தஞ்சிலேருந்து நாற்பது வயசுக்குள்ளே இருக்கிற அந்த பாப்புலேஷன் வந்து இன்றைக்கி மிகப்பெரிய அளவில் இந்த கிளச்சர்ஸ் ஆஃப் நான் கம்யூனிகபிள் டிசீசஸ் கூட போய் சிக்கிருக்காங்க டயபெட்டிக் ஹைப்பர்டென்ஷன் வந்து இந்த குரூப்பில் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டு ஃபார்ட்டி இயர்ஸில் தான் டூ மெஞ்ச் நம்பர் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் வந்து அதில் இருக்காங்க ஸோ அப்போ நம்ம இந்த லாஞ்சிட்டிவிட்டி பற்றி பேசுகிறப்ப காயக்கல்பை பற்றி பேசுகிறப்ப காய்கல்பை பற்றி இன்றைக்கி இந்த லாஸ்ட் டூ டேஸ் வி ஆட் செவரல் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரிசர்ச் அண்ட் என்ன எவ்வளோ இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் அப்படிங்கிறதுலாம் நிறைய விஷயங்கள் தெரிஞ்சுட்டு வரோம் பட் இந்த காயக்கல்ப பயிற்சிங்கிறது டுவேர்ட்ஸ் நம்ம லாஞ்சிட்டிவிட்டியை அச்சீவ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு போகிறதுக்கு முன்னாடி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் திங் இருக்கிற எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் இஷ்யூஸ் ஹெல்த் இஷ்யூஸை அதுலேருந்து வெளியே வர்றதுக்கும் நம்ம அடுத்த ஜெனரேஷன் இங்கே இருக்கிற நம்மளுடைய பிரதர்ஸ் நம்மளுடைய சிஸ்டர்ஸ் நம்ம ஃபேமிலி மெம்பர்ஸ் ஏன் நமக்கே இருக்கக்கூடிய இந்த டயபெட்டிக் ஹைப்பர்டென்ஷன் இஸ்கிமி ஆர்டிசிஸோட இஷ்யூஸில் இருந்து வெளியே வர்றதுக்கு முதல்ல ஒன்று அதிலேருந்து அதை வெல் எஃபிஷியன்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ணி வச்சுருக்கிறது ஏன்னா இந்த ஆல் த நான் கம்யூனிகபிள் டிசீசஸ் வி கெனாட் ஏபிள் டு கியூர் ஆர் வி கெனாட் ஏபிள் டு எராடிகேட் ஃப்ரம் அவர் பாடி but we can able to well manage the disease if you have a good efficient diet control and having good functional food and all type of practices like yoga meditation and other exercises so adukku enna nama seiyanum enna siddhala enna solli irukanga siddha maruthuvam enna solli irukku tamil maruthuvam enna solli irukku tamilar vaalviyal enna idha patti solli irukku abdingiradha patti da naan konjam viriva pesala appo nenikira so ரொம்ப கவனமாக தெரிய வேண்டியது என்னென்னா ஒன்லி டென் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் தான் இந்த ஓவரால் டயபெட்டிக்கில் இப்போ தமிழ்நாடு எடுத்திங்கன்னா தமிழ்நாடு வி ஹாவ் நியர்லி எயிட் குரோர் பாப்புலேஷன் இந்த எயிட் குரோர் பாப்புலேஷனில் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் குரோர் ஆர் உமன் அண்ட் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் சாரி த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் செவன் உம மென் இருக்காங்க த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் உமன் இருக்காங்க ஒரு செவன்டி ஃபைவ் லேக் சில்ட்ரன் இருக்காங்க இந்த ஒட்டுமொத்த எயிட் குரோர் பாப்புலேஷனில் ஒரு சை ஒரு டுவெல் பர்சன்டேஜ் டயபெட்டிக் அண்ட் ஹைபர்டென்ஷியலாக இருப்பாங்கன்னு எடுத்தால் கூட நியர்லி ஒன் குரோர் வந்து என்சிடி உள்ள கிளச்சஸில் ஆல்ரெடி இருக்கும் இந்த ஒன் குரோரில் ஒன்லி டென் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆர் ஹேவிங் எஃபிஷியன்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் அப்போது ஒன்லி டென் லேக் பீப்புள் தான் கண்ட்ரோலில் இருக்காங்க மீதி நைன்டி லேக் பீப்புள் ஆல்ரெடி வி ஆர் நாட் இன் குட் கண்ட்ரோல் ஆஃப் எனி எதர் மேபி தே மேபி டயபெட்டிக் ஆர் தே மேபி ஹைபர்டென்ஷியல் they are having silent hypertension they may have igd they don't aware whether they have diabetes or hypertension so only 10.3 percent is under control seri enna adile enna irukala appadina sila perukku thonalam uncontrolled non communicable diseases irukradhula 30 percent of population in their lifetime they will comp- compulsorily encounter with some kind of renal disease or heart attacks or cancers நல்லா தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் இந்த பத்து புள்ளி மூணு பர்சன்ட் விட்டுட்டோம்னா மீதி இருக்கிற தொண்ணூறு லட்சம் பேரில் முப்பது லட்சம் பேருக்கு ஒன்று ரீனல் டிசீஸ் இல்லைன்னா ஹார்ட் அட்டாக் இல்லைன்னா சம் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் கேன்சர் இந்த லைஃப் டைம் எழுபத்தஞ்சு வயசு வரைக்கும் இன்றைக்கி இருக்கலாங்கிறது நம்மளுடைய இந்தியன் தமிழ்நாடு ஆவரேஜ் லைஃப் ஸ்பேன் இஸ் செவன்டி டூ ஸோ ஒன்று இப்போ ஒரு ஃபார்ட்டி இயர்ஸில் ஒரு டயபெட்டிக் உள்ளே போகிறாங்க தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸில் இது என்டர் இன் டூ ஹைப்பர்டென்ஷன் அப்படின்னா பிஃபோர் தேர் ஃபைனல் அவங்க செவன்டி ஃபோர் செவன்டி ஃபைவ்க்குள்ளே they will they must get into either kind of some kind of renal disease or cancers so such a huge issue challenge we are facing right now silently it's growing or pakkam we are chandrayan la poi nama kaala vechitom innor pakkam nama people und education la entrepreneurship la developmental aspect la huge growth india is facing but innor another side flip side of the part und health la we are losing like anything so this is the need of the hour every people every individual should take care about uh, their health adu particularly in the ncd clutches ku la varama irukiradhukku athana effort edukonum forget about medicine medicine either in allopathy in ayurveda or siddha whatever medication the efficient ah control pandradhukku medication edukalam 
whether the medicine alone is uh, enough na kedaad molecule alone is not enough for to combat this any kind of non communicable disease whatever molecule in allopathic molecule or ayurvedic herb or siddha panacea or yogi or anything but they they will help us to little manage the disease the balance is rest in only with the functional food nutraceutical medication exercises yoga good mind all these things is very very essential in this context siddha la kaya kalpam abdingra oru vishayam kalpa abdingra oru vishayam siddha maruthuvathile romba nedungalamaga vera vera context la vera vera chinna chinna thalaippugalla oru and the philosophies la nariya solirukka adha patti inno oru oru lesa adha konja virichi paakalangiradhu da indha oru presentation so first the mankind aarambichu kaalathil irundhu dr jagdish today morning had given a wonderful lecture the first the 750 year, million years before amoeba la irundhu everybody wants to live more 48 days la irundha amoeba or maybe adu or 60 days a varadukana moyichi and amoeba va eduthittu irundhukum andha mari human அன்னையில இருந்து இன்னைக்கு வரைக்கும் வந்து நம்மளுடைய லைஃப் ஸ்பேனை இம்ப்ரூவ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு லாஞ்சிட்டி இம்ப்ரூவ் பண்ணுறது நாம் நம்மளும் நம்ம உடம்புக்குள்ள இருக்கிற குரோமோசோம்ஸ் அண்ட் நம்ம உடம்புக்குள்ள டிஎன்ஏ இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் நம்ம லைஃப் ஸ்பேனை இம்ப்ரூவ் பண்ணுறதுக்கான எத்தனையோ முயற்சிகளில் தொடர்ச்சியாக எடுத்துக்கிட்டு இருக்கோம் இது வந்து எப்போவுமே ந காலகாலமாக நம்ம எவாலுவேஷனில் நடந்துட்டு வர்ற விஷயம் ஆ ஸோ வாட் இஸ் சித்தா மெடிசன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பிகாஸ் ஃபியூ ஆஃப் கம்மிங் ஃப்ரம் various parts of the world should understand about uh, what is siddha medicine siddha by 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 the research tamil language has been on board since more than 5000 years we could be able to exactly tell how much years before we can tell that from the antiquity from it uh, might be from before 5000 years uh, tamil is on board so literature evidence shows that people were lived in community with sound health and happiness if you take it in the uh, sangam literatures if you take in the tolgapiyam all the literature very clearly uh, told how how much happily they had lived how much take care they take care of their own uh, lifestyle uh, lifestyle everything it has been documented in old uh, sangam literatures in old uh, traditional tamil literatures we can able to see the things see those like tirumular bogar karuvura thereyar have delivered several things about longevity of life lifestyle and several uh, functional food several herbs for healing for various ailments nearly 4448 clinical signs or 4448 diseases as denoted on those uh, siddha literatures and before going to what is in siddha satvani we are i am i am going to tell about a, a very very small note about uh, the fundamental of siddha like how ayurveda how unani all other oil system as a Uh, same fundamental almost same fundamental there are some nuances some differences between ayurveda and siddha between unani and siddha is that but fundamentally they are all root from the indian indigenous knowledge and based on three dosha and uh, three hemoral theory there is a three dosha mukutram comprises of vatam pittam kapam in tamil one uh, tirukural uh, couplet say vignum kurayinum noi seyum nulor வழி முதலாய மூன்று தட் இஸ் த வெரி ஃபண்டமெண்டல் காப்லெட் ஆஃப் அபவுட் த ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் நாலேஜ் ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் சித்தா சிஸ்டம் வாட் இட் மீன்ஸ் ஆக்சுவலி த இம்பேலன்சஸ் இன் தி வாதா பித்த கபா இஸ் தி ரீசன் ஃபார் மெனி டிசீசஸ் ஸோ ஆன் தோஸ் டேஸ் தே ஃபவுண்ட் தட் த ஃபைவ் எலமெண்ட் தேரி பிரபஞ்சம் ஃபைவ் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பிரபஞ்சம் ஆஸ் த ஜெகதீஷ் ஆல்சோ ஹேட் டோல்ட் அபவுட் எர்த் ஃபயர் வாட்டர் Uh, all the the five element forms the six days and the six days influences the three dosha three humoral theory vata pitta kapha and imbalances in the vata pitta kapha is actually giving all the diseases and uh, siddha what they denoted about the uh, longevity so why you want to live long that is a first, first fundamental question why you want to live long to attain the god's feet to get to attain the jnana we have to live long so there is a small two different today morning also he mentioned about the the differences about the gita and the tirumandram gita says the body is nothing maya and tirumandram says body is true udambal alir uiral alivar tidambara meyanam seravu matter udambai valarkum ubaya marinde udambai valarthein uir valarthein the body is true you have to take care of your body 
if you take care of your body only you can take care of your internal health through that only you can achieve whatever you want to do it do it in the first uh, first step of karma yoga you can get a, get into a group so for the longevity they had given a few things you know about the ashtanga yoga in our uh, yoga practices we have the ashtanga yoga yama niyamam asanam pranayamam pratyagaram dharanai dhyanam samadhi in that the first four steps the yamam niyamam asanam pranayamam yamam is actually yamam is uh, uh, that uh, purity of uh, purity of uh, mind that is yamam that uh, the codes of restraint abstinence as what to do what not to do self regulation not to steal others and uh, not to curse others not to dislike others this is the if your mind is okay then only you can do all the, all other things so for that they they had given one beautiful phrase manamadu jamayanal mandiram jibike venda manamadu samayanal vaivai uyartha venda manamadu samayanal vaasiye nirutha venda manamadu samayanal mandiram samayam if your mind is good there is no need to do any kind of uh, breathing vasi exercise and all you need no need to do any uh, chanting and all if your mind is good yama is uh, they they had given a very fundamental bottom line they told you my if your mind is good then fine they had told several years before sigmund freud in the later of the 19th century only he come up with the conclu- concluding note that uh, mind is very important he only after that uh, western science western world understand about the uh, psychology and psychophysiology and all other things after the sigmund freud and chang everybody had told about that but several years before our traditional siddha medicine denoted told about the importance of yama so that is the first thing second is niyamam what are the practices what are the practices observances self training that should be very correct if you don't have the uh, proper sail to me that ye uh, niyama if you don't practice correctly then there is no uh, you cannot be able to achieve longevity whatever uh, every day day to day life taking bath wearing clean clothes and keeping ourselves clean and uh, prevent spread of other diseases that is the second very important thing these two is the fundamental of uh, two yoga this is actually lead to longevity and asana sir that you well aware about that asana all the asana asana is actually the postures to roll to do, to go the to uh, actually motivate the navasi into the proper organs that the, the posture is actually asana some people we may think about uh, each postures is giving some kind of disease, prevention of disease or treating some ailment treating some specific ailment it's not actually true that the treatment is happening through the vasi but to uh, facilitate the vasi the postures are on those days they explain so asanas either tirumolar and padanjali are the two important siddhas shared several yogic posture so through that only we can stimulate the sikh chakra we can stabilize our body heat and the energy dry line in our body this is the uh, important of asanas and pranayama pranayama again it is one of the uh, wonderful signs preached by the our uh, siddhas pranayama is the almost uh, we uh, there are several research in various part of the world how the pranayama is helping in various diseases valiyinai vaangi vayyathil adaki valiyinai vaangi vayyathil adaki palingottu kaayam parukkinum pinjam if you properly balancing your vasi if you properly balancing your prana you can definitely uh, reduces or you can uh, definitely prevent many diseases you can pre- delay the aging process we can say same same thing urutharitha nadiyil odungugindra vaayvai karuthinal iruthiye kabalam etra valliril virutharum balaravar you can if you do regular pranayama the age the aging will definitely become uh, static that is the fundamental of uh, understanding about pranayama there are several studies how the pranayama improve the forced vital capacity how the pranayama improved the uh, forced expiratory volume in the mid expiratory volume how it is improving icmr and lupin group they had done wonderful works in uh, vivekananda swami vivekananda yoga university at uh, bangalore they had done wonderful works in how pranayama improve the uh, vital capacity of the lung so this is a, there are many modern researches they had done and uh, one dr balasubramaniam sundar balasubramaniam you may aware about him he had done wonderful work on trimolar pranayama 
in tirumulai pranayama how it improve the uh, 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 actually they had done wonderful work in the saliva itself in the salivary uh, uh, secretion they found several inflammatory markers how it reducing that's a inflammatory markers how it is reducing and prevent cancers very recently he had published one work on how it will delays the metastasis of the uh, triple negative breast cancers he had taken a, a project from the national institute of health bethesda at us and done the work in uh, uh, this uh, i think uh, muc that uh, medical university of south carolina they had done one work how pranayama be helpful in the prevention of metastasis after the chemo after the surgery if a person breast cancer survivor if they regularly uh, regularly uh, practices pranayama they can prevent further metastasis this is one of the major uh, study they had done and there are they have found the different proteomes different proteomes in saliva we can influence us through the pranayama alone they had listed these these kind of proteomes is uh, influenced only with the pranayama if you do regularly that will definitely vary and prevent various ailments and there are many many research how the telomere a part that is the end of the chromosome protect the cellular dna from the damage if the telomerase one enzyme is there then telomere how how it can be prevented through pranayama there are some studies and through that the non communicable diseases can be prevented the non communicable diseases can be uh, well balanced through pranayama alone so practicing pranayama should be the part of the everyday part every day you have to do uh, the regular uh, in uh, sky yoga we all do the eliyamurai udarpaichigal that eliyamurai udarpaichigal along with that if you do regular this pranayama practice that itself will reduce balance the non communicable diseases and asanas we all aware about that there are many many uh, research inferences with uh, yogic practices each posture how it will reduces the uh, non in, in the hpunc reduction how these postures is reducing the hpunc how it uh, a various process increasing the antioxidant property how it is scavenges the free radical there are many publication with the yoga asanas itself will help uh, helpful in the preventive of many geriatric ailments and reducing the clutches of non communicable diseases come to the kaya kalpam these are all yoga pranayama and all these our practices and uh, ka- there are several kalpam kalpam gradu vandu mistaken aichu tamil la vandu kaya kalpam gra vishayam vandu nedungalamaga adu vandu only for uh, sexual en- enhancement kaga udukakudiya unavugal illaina adukana marundugal abdingra oru misspell they misspelled as kaya kalpa as aphrodisiac not like that kaya kalpa is basically to prevent you many many diseases there are some uh, specific lifestyle practices of kaya kalpa so i would like to tell few kaya kalpam which are helpful in our day to day life so uh, kaya kalpam is actually if you do if you have a non communicable diseases if you take some selective kaya kalpa for according to our body if you are vata body or pitta body kapha body based on based on our prakriti if you select some specific kalpa regularly that will re- actually reduces your uh, whatever hypertension or uh, apart from your medication whatever medication you are take along with that if you take some kaya kalpa that will reduce uh, the damages happened with the uh, secule of all non communicable diseases in uh, siddha there is a one specific phrase uh, about prevention of these non communicable diseases particularly tinna mirandulli sikka vadakamal pennin bal onre perukamal unnungal neer churuki mor periki neyuriki this is one of the very important phase neer water you have to boil and drink regularly mor you should not take it as a curd you have to dilute it as much as possible make it as a buttermilk and ghee you have to you have to take it as in a liquid form should not be taken in a colloidal form you have to take it as a by heat it and reduce it into a liquid form you can take ghee all these three is is the actually if you take regularly the aging process will be halted so if you come before going into the various varieties of kalpas first we have to understand about what kind of regular staple food nowadays we we all our regular staple food is either rice or wheat 
so first step is actually we have to go in not into the clutches of white rice or white maida based food you have to go to the traditional rice varieties or traditional millets rice varieties traditional what is the difference between the traditional rice and polished white rice we have to understand traditional uh, all traditional uh, rice varieties if you take black rice or red rice or brown rice there are nearly we had already nearly 1 lakh 20000 rice varieties were there in india earlier we have nearly 1 lakh 20000 rice varieties with various colors red color brown color and black color more varieties if you if a rice is having a color if suppose uh, if you take a black color rice which is called karupu kauni arisi if the black color is because of the anthocyanins present in the rice so even with the taking the black rice is actually taking a kaya kalpa because that black rice anthocyanins is preventing many cancers so that's why we are advocating karpu kauni rice for uh, breast cancers people people who are with uh, cancers we always advise take black rice black brown black rice if you take red colored rice lycopene that red rice is having that uh, having richness in the lycopene polyphenols and the lycopenes and polyphenol will definitely helpful for many cancer prevention particularly male with prostate enlargement male with having some prostate enlargement if your prostate enlargement should not become a cancer pro uh, uh, prostate we have to take regularly red colored rice like that traditional millets each millet apart from its the carbohydrate content it, it is also both traditional rice and traditional millet is having 60 to 70% carbohydrate but the uh, the important difference is apart from the carbohydrate it's having very very minute trace uh, elements many uh, micro secondary metabolites plant metabolites for example that uh, lycopene anthocyanins in rice if you take uh, bajra if you compare bajra and uh, rice uh, one hand in bajra and another hand in rice nearly in bajra eight fold iron is there in bajra if you compare rice bajra is kambu if you take regularly bajra we can prevent anemia almost in india 45 percentage of indian population is still now particularly human population is still now in anemia so instead of taking rice you can go to uh, bajra if you take regularly uh, that you can prevent uh, iron uh, uh, iron deficiency anemia so that is one other very very important point so instead of going with rice wheat and thing you have to go with the millets and uh, traditional uh, traditional rice varieties what are all the specific kalpa we can take it with uh, for if you are having diabetic you are taking some uh, either metformin or some glycoforeal drugs or other uh, pp1 inhibitors whatever you are taking in allopathy or in ayurveda or siddha if you taking specific herbal medicine whatever you take along with that you should take some kind of decoction either with avarai or with vilva or with gova also how it how it works avarai is avarai is cassia auriculata one plant which is rich in phenolic compound polyphenol compound and vilva they have several studies they had proved the ingredients is reducing the every day it will help you help in the uh, reducing the insulin resistance so apart from medication try to take this avarai and vilva in your regular diet and uh, if you are having some uh, coronary heart disease cvd disease if you are having hypertension or dyslipidemia already existing ischemic heart disease you can take ventamarai ventamarai you can uh, just shade ride uh, white lotus leaf and in that uh, that you can take it as a decoction or you can take the sembariti hibiscus flower both ventamarai and hibiscus are rich in phenolic compound they had found it is having anti dyslipidemic activity it reduces the low density lipoprotein in both heart the cardiac diseases as well as in the we had to reduce the low density that bad cholesterol ldl we had to reduce for that you can take ventamarai or sembariti and very importantly marudambattai terminalia arjuna there are several studies with the terminalia arjuna that catechin content tannin content and few other uh, specific secondary metabolites of the terminalia chebula bar which is really helpful in various ischemic heart diseases and in cancers nowadays uh, uh, on those days cancer was uh, not a very uh, very prevalent disease very very rare one 
and in my college days i always remember breast cancer will come only for the people who are uh, not feeding their children or uh, non lactating mothers and nuns only they have the prevalence of getting the cancer breast cancer nowadays if you go to the national cancer registry if you see there are uh, several young mothers who fed their children in 30 to 35 they are getting that uh, breast cancer the increase incidence of cancers is mainly because of uh, junk food and environmental hazards pesticidal residues in our everyday food that is one of the major reason apart from the uh, genetic reason and uh, these epigenetic modi- modification due to these all these kind of issues is having uh, is actually causing the various cancer the incidence of prostate cancer is increasing on those days our teachers are taught that colon cancer won't come to the indian because we are taking lot of turmeric and spices in our uh, regular meal but nowadays that uh, data has gone colon cancer is increasing we are seeing every day people with uh, cancer in the rectum or cancer in the lower one third of the esophagus we are seeing every day all because of our uh, uh, in- uh, increase the pes- pesticide residues in the food product and even fr- because of the stress because of the poor lifestyle obesity and uncontrolled diabetic all these having this problem so if you come uh, come into the clutches of cancer and all whatever medication chemotherapy or radiation or surgical intervention you go through that and apart from that we have to take some other functional food and some kalpa few these are all the uh, plan which is having some specific uh, uh, anti cancer activity they had studied and uh, various pharma industry right now they are working in that molecules one plant i did in show here that karujiragam black jeera that kalauji one seed that black jeera black cumin seed and uh, roach is doing wonderful work on that black jeera and they are going to come up with a big molecule for uh, uh, can for may, maybe they may come for uh, breast cancer medication but karujiragam we are using in our regular culinary that oil that karujiragam ennai we can uh, took 5 to 10 drops in your diet regularly people who are having after 45 after 50 your ancestor your father or mother is having some uh, cancer issues or your uh, gene trait is having some uh, oncological issues you can take 10 drops or 5 drops we don't know whether this uh, karunjira can directly cure or not but if you take regularly it may give some because it's basically a anti inflammatory herb and cancer is basically a inflammatory disease but particularly it is an inflammatory disease so the taking you know regularly if you take kind of this black jeera black cumin all some kind of protection we might have like that venkodi veli that venkodi veli is plumbago zeylanica china has done wonderful work on this plumbago zeylanica they come up with already they come up with some uh, herb, uh, herbal molecule with plumbagin another thing vallathagi semica aqua sanagadium here in chennai in the institute of basic medical sciences that is one professor they had come up with the uh, beautiful paper how this semicarpus sanicardium extract helpful in the hepatocellular carcinoma maybe you may have some of your people aware the cholangiocarcinoma and hepatocellular carcinoma is a very dangerous disease most of the time uh, we are fighting with the oncological drugs is fighting even if you find out in the very early stage only we can lead their uh, life span at least for 10 15 years if it is uh, spread out uh, metastatic into the peritoneal cavity or to the nearby organs very difficult but semicarpa sanagardium is having some specific action against the hcc uh, uh, cancers and cholangiac cancers like that kadukai it's a very very common herb i can recommend all the people people who are having above 45 we can take regularly kadukai there are several studies with kadukai alone the tremenalia chebula indian gooseberry we say indian uh, chestnut we say that kadukai this is one of the best kayakalpam if you list the kayakalpams of india indian medicinal plants i can give the first rank to the kadukai kala inji kadumbagal chukku malai kadukai this is the formula given by the siddhas in this uh, they they had told uh, these are all the papers with uh, various uh, publication with the kadukai when could be that only i had listed one one tiruvullar nayanar kappamuli they had told kalame inji unna kaatinar sutrathil maalai edil kadukai mathiyanam chukkarunda that's why i told if you take uh, inji in the morning how you can take the inji ginger with honey 
you have to take a small piece of ginger just to peel off the skin outside and take the small small pearls like uh, uh, pieces of the ginger soaked in the honey you can prepare for a week time if you take it for a long time it might ferment so take a small pieces cut into small pieces and soaked in honey just 25 grams you take uh, ginger and in the 50 gram honey you can soak it take it in that just two or three pearls ginger in the morning as a first drink this is one of the fantastic uh, and it is having lot of other benefits also it is a good digestion good anti pitta drug and also for many normal uh, influenza virus ginger is one of the major uh, preventive uh, medicine so morning ginger you can take and the afternoon you have to take the same dry ginger dry ginger the best anubara is actually ghee so dry ginger with ghee you can take in the afternoon and the night you have to take kadukai powder powder in the warm water if you kadukai you have to use the external pericarp only you should not use the internal nut and kadukai even in the covid time you still remember one company they had taken some basic uh, bio computational study they found that uh, kadukai pericarp is having some prevention in the covid uh, proliferation and kadukai is having lot of uh, and uh, cytotoxic effect and anti cancerous effect and uh, kadukai is the only plant which is having six taste you know each and every plant is having a different different taste and kadukai is the only plant is having six taste that's why uh, it was priced very well in the siddha system medicine one of the major kaya kalpa so this you can take regularly and coming to the respiratory illness and our uh, vedadri magarishi as well as uh, you know about uh, vallalar praised the karisale like anything he praised karisale as a mother in tamil one uh, one phrase is there tegara sachuradam tilliya neer neer kooti paagamura kaichi paruguvar kaagamunum chali thirum kaane the phrase what it says actually karisalangani that eclipta alba uh you have to mix it with the uh, dill oil nallanna you have to uh, take the karasalangani juice equal quantity of uh, jijli oil boil it and make it as a thailam if you take regularly 5 ml of that uh, thailam for the people who are having chronic bronchitis or people who are having so, uh, asthmatic wheeze if you take 5 ml in the morning that will reduce the bronchial spasm as well having uh, it will relieve the muc- uh, relieve the bronchial congestion it is having mucolytic action also apart from that karisalangani is one of the best hepatoprotective herb several studies proved the efficacy of the karisalangani on hepatoprotective uh, people in common people know karisalangani is good for the hair they use for the only in the they make hair oil and apply in the hair alone but karisalangani not only for the karisalangani is one of the best herb for the hepatoprotection and for antiviral action and is very good for the chronic respiratory ailments and uh, you, i told about the inji tain that is only the morning hours if you take regularly inji and another one important point most of the people may have may not aware about the vilambalam vilambalam is actually uh, one of the limonia acidi was that vilambalam is uh, has been praised by the siddhas they told about the vilambalam is preventive even death they told and we know only the phrase that called uh, vittadedi aasai vilambala thotode they use the external shell of the vilambalam for uh, few other purposes but vilambalam on those days it has been used as one of the major kaya kalpa and very simple uh, nelma nei karpam that is purely a paddy uh, that a uh, rice powder with uh, cow's ghee on those days that uh, they are uh, used for kalpa it's the it's all indicated in the sirap karpam podu karpam sirap karpam is the classification given by the siddhas what you have to take regularly for the people who are having excess pitta you can take karisala karisalangani if you have a kaba you can take rice karpam nei karpam so these kind of uh, uh, we have to select some whichever is good for you whichever is accessible to you whichever is uh, according to your prakriti you can check it with your ayurvedic or physician physician based on that we can select one herb as a kalpa another very important kalpa you may all aware about that tamil history at several time told about this nellikai so uh, this embolica officinalis this tell nellikai is having rich in vitamin c rich in phenolic compound few other uh, secondary metabolites also they has been they had found 
in i remember still remember in 95 95 96 at the time uh, uh, the hiv disease were very high in uh, chennai at the time that uh, for the people who are affected with uh, hiv aids those people to improve the body weight to improve the resistance to prevent the opportunity infections uh, allopathic physicians of uh, tamil nadu they used nellikai i remember professor c n devanayagam who is a renowned uh, pulmonologist he often used the nellikai lehiyam for preventing the opportunity infection where the immune system is very low in the hiv patient they use the nellikai so we can use it regularly it is not a medicine in, in our diet you can directly it. but don't make it as a pickle if you make as a pickle put some uh, chili powder oil all other things you spoil that disease you can take nellikai as such as such you can as a juice also you can take like ponnangani very common uh, kirai there are several uh, small greens are there you know about pasala kirai benefit of pasala kirai benefit of murungai kirai benefit of sirai kirai arai kirai there are several kirais or greens are there each greens is having rich in mineral content it is having selenium very very micro mineral which is essential for our body metabolism from the iron to selenium there are several things are there among them ponnangani kirai is one of the major karpa ponnangani is having very good for the eyes people are having some eye diseases you can take regularly ponnangani kachalai aloe vera this is one of the major uh, karpam especially for the woman people woman having the dyspnoea woman having polycystic ovarian disease woman having endometriosis it is one of the functional food i won't say it is a medicine for endometriosis or medicine for dyspnoea but if you take regularly it will balance the uh, pitta in the female pelvic region so that will definitely it will reduce the uh, dyspnoeic pain and particularly if you have endometriosis with dyspnoeic pain aloe vera is one of the major plan this is one of the kalpam on those days they educated i request to people learned people from uh, various fraternity i also uh, various biologists neurologists and general physician researchers are that you please look into that herbs and indications they can what are all the indication that will give some kind of clues whether it can be useful for these diseases or whether it can be uh, useful for preventing such some ailment some molecule some secondary metabolites might be there instead it is not fully exploited fully explored uh, for the western world western scientific world here i always say there are several literatures available here and there whether several dispassionate clinical leads are there in the uh, uh, more many clinics of ayurvedic and siddha clinics what we have to do is we have to carefully pick up the leads and do the research if you are like how how yoga has been studied worldwide how yogic practices studied worldwide how they are uh, find out that salivary cytokines is are reducing or increasing they found out like that if you look the very common herbs very common uh, functional food if you look into that uh, very carefully we can pick up very good molecule which might be useful for the tamil community like that another one you may all aware about the ashwagandha in ayurveda it called ashwagandha it is now in the western world is now we come up with the therapeutic vaccine with the ashwagandha vitania somnifera so amukrangal it is a very common plant which has been used for a good sleep today uh, professor malara was like this both they are told about the importance of the stage 1 2 3 sleep for the efficient sleep the with the sleep alone we can increase the melatonin we can increase the uh, body's many repairing enzymes in the body thereby we can re- reduce the burden of many diseases for that ashwagandha is one of the very very common plant which you can use it just powder it and take it with uh, warm milk one unique uh, clinical observation is if you take it with milk it will improve little body weight and have a good sleep and if you take it with hot water if you make you lean you will reduce the weight and have a good sleep this is one of the uh, very important clinical observation so if you want to reduce your weight take it with the warm water if you want to increase your body weight take it with uh, little warm milk ashwagandha one of the well studied uh, important herbal medicine herbal plant which is in ayurveda and both siddha and this you may all aware about the vembu vembu karpam you have to take the vepam kulundu small the 
small small uh, tender leaf of paper golundu that you can take it which can, that will have a lot of benefit in the internally particularly uh, the secondary metabolites again i am see using the word secondary metabolites again again i would like to share one important uh, immediately it came to mind I re very recently i studied about the plants uh, one paper from israel beautiful paper it is actually uh, today morning when i hear about the vallalars uh, quote by some professor they had told about the kalangi nindade vaadiya payirai paarkum bodhalam kalangi nindade in that uh, phrase that remember me the israel paper very recently they published plant interact each other with the, we cannot able to hear we cannot able to hear because they are decibel we cannot able to hear how best they are interacting now with the latest study they had understand if one plant two trees are nearby if one tree is having some viral infection or some kind of infection it has it is actually telling the other tree that i am having such infection i am getting this kind of sore and my fruits are getting see this kind of issues my leaves are getting thing i am getting these kind of issues i am i am actually managing with this kind of secondary metabolites please do please prepare for that this kind of information it is passing to the next tree it's not a joke or it is not a just hypothesis they had uh, scientifically they had uh, in the paper called cell the magazine name is cell in that uh, some israelian author is a very lead like lead paper they had come up with the thought provoking uh, ideas how the plants are interacting each other so that preventing many ailment and all so such a way they are uh, increasing their secondary metabolites and phenols and terpenoid all the thing but that we are using for our diseases and all these thing so each and every plant is actually a medicinal having some medicinal values our siddhas picked some specific herbs and specific herbs which will be useful for the human mankind like eruk also eruk usually we thought it is a poisonous uh, one but that erukambal the milk latex of the erukambal which they has been studied specifically for many diseases and finally the nerunjil very common uh, plant the nerunjil mul the nerunjil is actually they found uh, the uh, it will improve the hormones it will improve the dihydrotestosterone and is how it uh, useful for the uh, cystitis how it useful for the prostate enlargement how it can be it can prevent the cancer process several paper they come up with the nerunjil mul alone so i will conclude here there are several single herbs single medicinal plants they found which is be useful for longevity by our siddhas but very importantly we should understand just uh, uh, taking or picking the secondary metabolites or picking the uh, chemical alone if you take it regularly we can live long you should not think like that this is one of the one tool we had again i come to the first point the first thing is our uh, yama niyama if your yama yama is good and if you are prana if you practice regular pranayama and asanas if you do regular meditation along with that if you take regular functional food and nutraceutical whatever food you are taking traditional rice or traditional millet or these kind of herbs and these kind of spices in our regular uh, culinary this all will add on to our uh, to prevent many ailment and we can lead a normal uh, healthy life concludingly i would like to tell few few important things one is we have to we have two type of challenges one is communicable diseases another non communicable diseases just 5 uh, years before most of the people we didn't think about uh, communicable disease again will come we after uh, winning the small pox and after winning the polio we thought that no much big uh, communicable disease won't come but after the swine flu incidents of swine flu after the incidents of mers little frightening will uh, had come but after the covid we learnt a lot but uh, do you think that covid has gone no covid has actually it has disappeared and somewhere it has been there nearly 6 lakh plus viruses can attack us and the people are saying that 6 lakh 6 lakh plus viruses may come any point of time they are because of the increased incidence of climate change the climate change actually uh, open up lot of uh, hibernated viruses and that virus may can come any time if any virus come our innate immune system should open and fight against that viruses 
so for that we have to keep our immune system good we have to keep our bone marrow we have to keep our white cells or we have to keep our complement cells to fight against the virus as well we cannot able to wait every time for a vaccine will come and at the time we can prevent first we have to improve our immune system for to improve the immune system the kaya kalpa practices and uh, stress management and uh, the pranayama all these things are very very essential this is the part of the communicable diseases in the part of non communicable diseases first thing we have to prevent from our youngsters people uh, our children our brothers our sisters those who are already in the clutches of uh, diabetic or hypertension we have to prevent further we have to prevent the sequel of not diabetes we have to prevent the chronic uh, re uh, renal diseases from the diabetic population we have to prevent heart attacks from the hypertensive population so that is very very important need of the hour for india particularly in tamil nadu because we are all rice eating population we have more such a susceptibility to get diabetic more susceptibility to get the sequel of diabetes and hypertension so this is very very important so two clutches are there one is communicable one other is non communicable for the both i would say kaya kalpa practices is very 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 essential this pranayama or our sky yoga this kaya kalpa yoga all this will add some benefit to the uh, our own healing system to improve the innate immune system or shaping of the metabolism we don't know whatever way if it is helpful we can lead a healthy lifestyle this is first point second things all these practices should start from the youngster we always say in the business management catch them young actually in the health practices we have to catch them young when they are in the school days when they are in the school going children at that time itself we have to have the practice of avoiding white sugar practicing of reducing the salt practicing of reducing the fat content this is very very important because salt if you compare the western world we are using almost double time every day even in our everyday meal we are using nearly 8 to 9 grams of salt but who is recommending only 4 grams of salt but we are using 8 grams in the common i am not saying about chips or i am not saying about the methyl uh, sorry what is called monosodium glutamate and all uh, junks even in the normal south indian north indian culinary we are using double time salt so we need to reduce the salt and reduce the sweet in the from the younger days onwards and at that time itself they have to practice the uh, kaya kalpa yoga meditation pranayama all these things second part they should start all the functional food and nutraceutical from the younger days onwards after getting into the clutches of all ncds if they start they can only manage they cannot lead a very healthy lifestyle so catch them young second third important thing again i would like to insist uh, this kaya karpam cannot be sold by uh, take encapsulate i am taking regularly ashwagandha capsule and doing all the nonsense in my lifestyle nothing will work so you have to practice yama niyama pranayama pratyagaram everything along with that you have to go with all kaya karpam and all and finally very importantly i would like to say to live long to live long what we are going to achieve that we have to think about that to live long to lead a healthy lifestyle on those days siddhas advocated because of social responsibility so i would like to uh, insist in this uh, august forum to live long to lead a healthy life or to take kaya kalpa and all not only enjoy the comforts of the contemporary life if you want to live long we have to be responsible for the society all the like today morning uh, jagdish also had jagdish or malara was told about the uh, the level 3 spirituality i liked it very much the level 3 spirituality is actually i can say the whole western world for the last 100 years i can say I, uh, maybe 200 years after the einstein or after the newton we become anthropocentric human centric which is good for human which is good shirt for me which is good is a good accommodation for me good car for me everything anthropocentric that is not the siddhas life the level 3 spirituality what they are told it is ecocentric so we have to lead a healthy lifestyle we we have to live long to have a ecocentric life our all our bacteria all our virus because actually the earth is a virosphere we came very little uh, only we were just 20 million years before before that the entire earth is with the virus the covid is our actually another grandma another cousin 
we cannot we just think that that it is come from the china people are doing that everything all other things are nonsense we don't know but all the viruses actually the owners of the biosphere so we should respect other uh, human because uh, you may aware about the uh, tag line after the covid the united health told about the one health earlier in our 1950s and all our health is defined only with the physical health if my lung is breathing well my heart is breathing uh, pumping well and if my liver is uh, doing well i am healthy on those days after 1970 no 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 physical health as well as mental health they said that after 1970 only but tirumandram on uh, 1500 years before they had told marupadu udal noi marundana lagum marupadu ula noi marundana chalum marupadu ini noi varadirupa marupadu saavai marundana lame how wonderfully our ancestors had told marupadu udal noi marupadu ula noi now very recently in the one health they had clearly told if my physical health is good okay if my mental health is good okay are you healthy no even if your physical health is okay if your mental health is okay your earthworm under your feet should be healthy the flowers in the trees should be healthy the bird should be healthy then only you will be healthy this is the tag line of one health so by learning the kaya kalpa to achieve longevity we should be become socially responsible eco centric leader eco centric life actually he warned them before the lunch break that at least one of the food item sivaramanaya will say no and you said no for white rice and uh, i'm sure our um, audience will buy some brown rice and uh, the millets on the way to go home yeah a quick question on this uh, kadukai uh, commonly people take it as tripala because yep. it's easy and available kadukai should be taken in the evening or night with warm water what about tripala how to take it and um, is it to be mixed with anything actually kaduka is a karpam i can say if you take tripala is a medicine and kaduka is a karpam tripala is actually a combination of three plants kaduka nellikai tandrikai three all the trees are having a good medicinal plants each is having some other medicinal uh, values and all if you want to take it as a karpam kaduka is the best but if you want to take tripala or kaduka both should be taken only in the night hours you can take only in the evening uh, 3 to 5 grams based on our body weight you can take it and all the if you take even trifala all the three nuts should not be used only the pericarp external pericarp only you have to use dried pericarp powder of the three mix portion of uh, all together each 50 grams you can take you can mix together then you can take half teaspoon in the evening uh, with warm water is enough and kadukai you uh, that uh, as a karpam if you want to take you have to take the pericarp of the fully grown kadukai nut the small tender kadukai pinch uh, that is only for the people who want to have a laxative purpose people having constipation having not uh, having good bowel movement they can do uh, take the very tender kadukai pinch all other people we have to take kadukai full uh, fully grown kadukai nut pericarp that only in the evening hours okay yeah The next question is on iravamai what do you think about uh, siddhar's principle on iravamai could you understand no, what no madhu bhogam idal iravamai 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 like deathless life or yeah yeah sakkadu pini sakkadu iravamai that is actually siddhar's uh, principle of that uh, what do you know that marupadu udal noi marundanal agum marupadu ula noi marundana chalum marupadu ini noi varadirupa the last phrase is what is asking marupadu savai marundana lame that if you can able to prevent the death if a person is having that is actually the high philosophical note it is not actually uh, like in 2050 they had uh, google had announced i think google somewhere somebody uh, some i had read to uh, death will be an optional that now recently they had put whatever if a kidney failure you can change it if your heart failure you can change transplant if you want you can completely change the blood uh, all the there in 2040 or 50 they put it as uh, death will be optional but siddhas uh, principle is not like that it's not like changing all other organs or all other things only thing is how much we can prevent diseases how ca- how much we can lead a healthy lifestyle in the ages also that only they are told thank you very much thank you sir next i call upon 
kadukai because therifala itself is having kadukai is that if you want you can take kadukai all these things what the one important question how long you are taking people are taking i am taking lifetime fully that's not a right way you have to take oru mandalam or rendu mandalam so oru mandalam is 48 days if you have you can take 48 days continuously and give a break for at least for three months don't take and other practices you can do after that you can take you should not take it continuously if you take any herbal medicine continuously body won't treat it as single herb it will think that it is one of the diet and the exact therapeutic uh, prophylactic benefit you won't get it so 48 days you have to take in the night thank you thank you